Greetings everyone, my name is Ettervale, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Mega Man Maker. During the last part, I covered six Fierce Meta levels, so in this part I'll be covering several random levels. Now, I am a firm believer of Sturgeon's Law, meaning that at least 90% of levels that have been submitted to Mega Man Maker are below par. Only 10% of them are at the very least on par. Also, because these are random levels, they can range from being easy to rather difficult, short to rather long, and they can be a traditional level, a fortress level, a kaiza level, a special weapons oriented stage, or anything in between. Also, it can choose a level that was submitted way back near the inception of Mega Man Maker, or something very recent, I'm not sure. So let's do it. First up is... Communication OG It Level by Alleyboy, with 8 plays and a score of 1. As always, if you want whatever levels to be featured in the future part, please leave both the level name and level ID either in the comment section below or direct message me on Twitter. Also, as always, a full disclaimer this entire LP series is linked in the description below. Also in the description are the timestamps for all the levels I cover in these parts. I'm planning on covering at least 10 levels in this part, or until the video time reaches around 35 to 40 minutes long, whichever one comes first. And unfortunately, collecting that collectible threw me off and ate my jump input. Oh, of course, I have Magnet Beam over here. And remember, just like I said at the beginning, these stages can range from quality in terms of being rather bad to rather good. Most likely gonna be more on the bad side, or forgettable side. This one, it was on the forgettable side, but not really on the terrible side. And very short, it only took about a minute and a half to complete. In fact, I stated most of the levels that are submitted to the Mega Man Maker servers are rather on the shorter side, lower than 20 screens long. And also, the reason why I'm using the random button option instead of just doing it in advance and entering level IDs is because in version 1.3.4 or 1.3.5, they fixed the random level option so it doesn't error out most of the time. Second up is Crash Man by Eric999. 5 plays and a score of 0. Very short, because we're gonna fight Crash Man over here with a lot of Baton cohorts. Um, nothing more to say here. I wish there was an option to just do a quick complete once you defeat the boss or collect the energy helmet, similar to a quick reset. Third up is Kaizo Forest Kaizo Past by Sand Sanda Oppingba with 89 plays and a score of 11. So pretty highly rated, but it's a Kaizo level, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to complete this one. I'm not sure in what way it's a Kaiser level though. No spikes, but a lot of air jumping. Okay, checkpoint placement here is rather generous. And here come the spikes. Checkpoint placement is very generous, a lot more generous than a lot of the more precision based challenge levels are usually.
Thank you for the full refill there. Uh, that was a lot easier than what I expected this stage would be, actually. There are plenty of pickups and checkpoints here. When I said Kaiser in the title, I was expecting something much worse. A lot more tight precision based spike slides or something. This is even easier than several special weapon oriented stages that aren't even labeled as being Kaizo. And now we fight Bomb Man. I guess his weakness is a top spin. No, it's Charge Kick. Well, at least the stage was notable and somewhat interesting. So I will give it that. But it's kind of forgettable if you were to ask me. I'd like to see the stage have more meat to it. Ford up. Oh wait, I already covered this level. If I already covered a level and it comes under the random level option, I won't recover it. Forward up is Mega Man, Rondo, Stairs, Stairs, Stairs by Doki Doki. 13 plays and a score of 3. Only have access to the shine here. Only thing to do is to hold right and go down these stairs basically in different environments as well. Nothing else to say here other than hold right to win, I suppose. Although the transitions between each of the environments are rather abrupt. And parts of the screen aren't even filled in with a background, as you see sometimes in the bottom left parts of the screen, like here. This is one of those stages that is just plain old bad and very forgettable. There is no enemies whatsoever, and it just keeps on going and going and going. The only differences are cycling through all the foreground and background tiles. I hope there's a checkpoint near the end because I don't want to repeat this in case I die to the boss. Okay, there's the end. Well, at least his weakness is the shine. Other than that, nothing more to say about the stage. Very forgettable. I'm not sure why I got 3 score. I mean, I'd more likely give it a downvote because of how it just wastes our time. It's just a showcase of all the background and foreground tile sets, with no change whatsoever. Fifth up is This Is A Cool Level by Mixter, with 20 plays, score of 2. We have a bunch of enemies just floating in mid-air.
Even though this stage is rather bland and forgettable, I'll definitely take it over the last stage. This at the very least isn't repetitive. I wanted the damage boost over there because I think there are spikes on the bottom, knowing my luck. Well, I'm not sure if it's a cool level, but at least it was something. I'll give it that. Sixth is going down by Les Claypool with 3 plays score 0. Really, I have nothing more to say about most of these random levels, unfortunately. This seems to be one of the random level selections that is very uninteresting. I'd probably have more luck by scrounging right through the new queue, or the most popular queue. And even then, the new queue has a lot of trash as well, but at least you can look through the upvotes, as well as names and level creators to see if something's interesting. Here we don't even have that option. Then again, I suppose in the future, we'll have to use the random level option in some modified fashion in order to have a 100-man Mega Man race or something, similar to Mario Maker. I've been waiting for that for quite a while. Perhaps in version 1.4 or Well, I didn't expect a sudden spike drop segment over there, that's why I died. Thankfully, it isn't too far back anyway, and the rest of the stage is rather easy, just like the rest of them, outside of that one stage that was labeled Kaizo. HSH And there are a lot of free BE tanks here. Um, what happened there? And there's no checkpoint over there. Are there invisible spikes? There seem to be, so I guess I'll have to damage us off that big guy or something. So I guess this is the first stage that's giving us some trouble. Okay, so it was right down over here. That was kind of trollish. Now we have MSH. I'm not sure what that's an abbreviation for. Oh, <laughs> 
Again, nothing more to say about this stage other than the fact it's forgettable and doesn't have a solid gimmick or something that's noteworthy. At least many of the stages on the most popular queue that I will cover again have something going for them. Most of these don't. Seventh up is Mega Man Power X Galaxy World 1-17 by Mr. Potato with 66 plays and a score of 20. Ah good, a highly regarded stage for once. It seems to be also pretty short or shorter, but I'll take what I can get. Infinite usage of the Magnet Missile, so that takes care of its little ammo problem. As I stayed throughout this LP, I feel that the Magnet Missile doesn't have enough ammo or doesn't deal enough damage for the amount of low ammo capacity it has. Especially when you compare it to stuff like the Dive Missile, which is overall a superior weapon. So now I guess we're jumping between these Galaxy Man teleporters. No challenge yet, but... I suppose the challenge will come soon enough. I remember seeing this level in the new queue sometime. And I guess that's that. Oh wait, never mind. We actually have something more to do here. We need to collect two more keys. I guess key number one will be on the left, key number two will be on the right. Rather big boss door there. And there's key number one. Now to key number two. I don't have much to say about this stage either, but at least it's going for something, unlike most of the other stages I've seen so far. And there's key number two. Thank you for putting a checkpoint over there, in case we die. Also, thank you for putting a checkpoint after the spike drop segment. And now we find Fairman on top of these springs. Actually, it isn't too bad considering that his weakness is Mag Missile. And Fairman is stuck doing that pose. Well, okay then, I guess that's an odd glitch or something. I'll give the stage something and some credit in the fact that it's going for something, but it's still below par for my own taste. A 4.5 or 4. But considering I'll give most of these stages a 2 or 3 out of 10 or 3.5 out of 10, much better. Eight up is Kaiser Man 2-1 Tower of Heaven by Snowy. 11 plays and a score negative 1. Short stage, but okay. Is this a reference to the Tower of Heaven game? Could be.
And I foresee quite a few more deaths here. several of these e-jumps, and that spike was somewhat hidden by the life bar there. I wasn't able to complete this stage legitimately, so here it is in the level editor. I kept making it up to this point, but then I repeatedly died here, due to the precision involved, and due to the repeated button input registration failures. You need to know how to do slide jumps precisely over here in order to survive this level. It's a straightforward climb upwards, and following this point we have ice physics. Oh, how wonderful. No checkpoints, by the way. Well, there is one over here, but honestly, I would have preferred if there was one over here around the center. There is one in the middle part of the stage, but I would like if there was a quarter one and one over here too. And then we also have conveyor belts. Wonderful. This is definitely designed for advanced to very advanced Mega Man Maker players. You need to know the intricacies of the spike hitboxes and collision detection of this engine, as well as slide jumping in order to extend your jumping. This will probably be intended or more enjoyable by players who like to play these Kaizo levels though. And there's the ending. Ninth up is Is This Lost by an Absolute Loser, with 17 plays and a score of 2. So I guess it's based off the Lost meme. Uh... Where am I? Well, I see the Lost meme over here. But where is Mega Man? Oh, there he is. Okay, so if you fall off the conveyor belts, you're dead. Good to know. And there we have it. That's the end of Is This Lost? A rather short stage utilizing the bridged version of the Lost meme. Or the more stealth version of it. Nothing more to say about it. So, 10th and final level this part is Plantopia by Blobfishu. With 5 plays and a score of 1. Not Blobfishu, Blobfushi, my apologies. Oops, I forgot to replace this musical track with Dustman's original team, my apologies. Well, I like this better than Dustman's original team anyway. Would have preferred if this stage actually had a non-solid background, but this works, I suppose. It complements the foreground nicely. I was gonna say it was a bit of a leap of fate over there, but no, it was a bottomless pit. I guess I need to grab onto that ladder or something. It just leads to a spare e tank, and here's where the pathways link up with each other. Oh, 
Oh, never mind, this is not a bottomless pit, even though it looks like a bottomless pit. Some of those jumps are rather scary. Okay, now we suddenly fight Top Man, and there's no checkpoints, by the way. At least his weakness was a Mega Buster. So, I guess it's the end. You know, this is one of the weakest random level selections I've gotten so far in this series. I usually do these to gain some perspective of all of the other levels that I submitted to Mega Man Maker. I mean, I preemptively ended my new Q series because of how bad the selection of levels were, but in comparison to the selection I got there, that was better than this one. The only levels that proved to be a challenge were the first Kaizo level, the Mega Man Power Galaxy Star stage, as well as the Tower of Heaven level. But overall it was rather disappointing, so I can't really give any favorite levels in this part, or honorable mentions. None of them are up to my par. So in the next part, I'll be covering several more of your submitted levels. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Toodles!